Um, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to go through something real quick what we went through. Um, logarithmic functions, one thing that we talked about when we talked about the, the general form, the graph logarithms, uh, all we really pretty much dealt with was graphing logarithms compared to their parent graph. So remember, we have a logarithmic function, y equals um, log of x. And pretty much that produced a graph that had a y-intercept at 1, 0. And the graph looks something like this. Now, the next thing we kind of talked about was our transformations. So we have y equals a times log, and really it doesn't matter your, your base b, base b of x minus h plus k. So if we go back and review our transformations, remember a told us if our graph was reflected over the x-axis, h told us if our graph is shifted left or right, and k, remember, tells us if our graph is going to shift up or down. Correct? Yes? So let's look at this graph. What is my transformation us telling us I'm going to do? So here, all I have is x minus 2. So that's going to tell me I'm going to reflect, shift, what? Shift in what direction? Right. Right, right? Because remember, it's always the opposite of h. So you need to go in the opposite direction. So since it's minus 2, that means you're going to shift to the right. So what I'm going to simply do is if I take my parent graph, I'm just going to shift that parent graph over two units to the right. Now, the only point that I know for certain that's on this logarithm is at the point 1, 0. So if I shift it two units to the right, it's now going to be at 3, 0. And there you go. The base is not going to, the base is going to di help dilate, but yeah, it's not going to be a shift or a reflection. You're just going to have to wait till the end. Right, it started out at 1, so I shifted it over 2 units. Yes, this is your parent graph, so this is where it's always going to be. Okay? Good. Now, um